this. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking the top 10 worst ways to die. Starting us off at number 10 like we always do with our top 10s is killed by is number 10 is killed by a beaver. Now the beaver pond looks so inviting with temperatures hovering around 90 degrees, you decide to go for a quick dip after a long hike. You're swimming, you're swimming back to shore when searing pain courses up from your ankle to the thigh. Your right leg dangles useless, uselessly as you flail helplessly in the shallow water. Clawing your way through the <coughs> the slimy growth of algae, algae, you manage to limp on the beach. As you drag yourself from the water, you see a thick ribbon of red trailing back into the pond. Blood streams from your lower lower leg as you dial nine one one with shaky fingers on the cell phone left among your belongings. You never see the aquatic culprit, a fiercely territorial rodent with powerful jaws capable of felling a three-foot-wide tree. <coughs> By the time the medics arrive on the scene, you've bled to death from a severed, from a severed artery and a torn Achilles tendon. Wow, what a great way to die. No. Coming in at number nine, we have death by pine cones. I'm literally did not make, as you see right here, I literally did not, I did not make this up. You don't know it, but something peculiarly, peculiarly sinister awaits in the branches above. A 22-pound cannonball falls from its branch and hurdles towards your head as you stroll underneath the ancient bunion pine. The giant pine cone fallen from a limb 90 feet off the ground, accelerating at a speed of 32 feet per second. Will land with the force of a bowling ball dropped from a nine-story building. What? You hear a crash above you and look just in time to see the shiny, gr spiny green object plummeting towards your fa face. If you're not wearing a hard hat, it's lights out. Yep, you can die from a pine cone. Total, well, what? And I thought I had to worry about murders and poison and crap. Coming in at number eight, we have stung to death by bees. It starts as an indecent hum, indistinct hum. You reach for the next hold, ignoring the buzzing in your ears when you feel a pinprick on your right thumb. Confused and alarmed, you look up to see a beehive. The first few pinpricks don't really endanger you. You're not allergic, you think, but they've sealed your fate. Each thing is accompanied by an alarm that smells vaguely like bananas and sends the hives of bees into a defensive frenzy. The bees begin to pour out of the hive. They sting every inch of your body. but seem particularly drawn to your head and neck. Fighting to swat them away, you f swallow a fistful of bees, which proceed to in sting the inside of your throat. The human lethal dose for honeybee stings is estimated to be about 500 to 1,200 Things if you if you receive medical care. 
off the cliff you begin to vomit and off the cliff you begin to vomit and suffer from diarrhea but your friends help you to the railroad where paramedics take you to the hospital a day later you're released from the hospital in good spirits unbeknownst to you or your inexperienced doctors you'll be dead by the end of the week proteins in the venom are dissolving blood cells and muscle tissue releasing debris as the debris, as the debris accumulates your kidneys kidneys become clogged you begin to exp experience renal failure two days later you're back in the hospital and die before doctors can begin dialysis no no coming in at number seven we have poisoned by a sea snail and I'm not talking about Gary from Spongebob, either. The beach is filled, is littered with shells. But your eye alights as a cone-shaped snail with alternate beige and rust tiles. You shoot down to pick it up, placing it on your pocket almost immediately. You suffer from an intense pain and your right leg in a shortness of breath. You figure one of the shells must have rubbed your leg the wrong way, so you dump them out and continue walking back to camp. As you head back to your tent, your walking becomes labored. Your right leg has gone numb. Concerned, you pull down your shorts to notice a tiny mark that looks like a bee sting. Fifteen minutes after... The snail harpooned a lethal mixture of more than six peptides in your body. You develop a severe headache. Your right leg continues to swell, so you pop an aspirin for the pain and waddle over to the fire. Soon you begin vomiting. With your appetite gone, you limp back to your own tent. Your speech slurs. Not there's there's anyone to hear you as sets in. The snail's venom blocks calcium and sodium channels in your central nervous system, leading to paralysis. When a concerned friend comes to check in, in on you in the morning, he finds your face covered in vomit. There is no pulse. No. No. Up at number six, we have Poison by Blue Ringed Octopus. Within a few seconds of pulling the octopus from the water, it changes color, displaying a set of blue rings. And when you go to drop it in the ocean, you notice a dot of blood on your hand. You hadn't even felt the bite. There are no fangs, no sting, but you have been but you've been bitten by the blue ringed octopus in the Neurotoxin, tetrodotsin, 10,000 times more toxic than cyanide, was injected 5 millimeters deep into the skin, and it's making its way through your body. Within minutes, your mouth goes dry. Soon after, your face and tongue go numb. It reminds you of the time you tasted until you lose the ability to speak, and walking becomes almost impossible. Your girlfriend who said I had a girlfriend, calls for an ambulance after you collapse, but you remain conscious as the toxin causes total body paralysis. Paramedics place you on your side to prevent you from choking on your own vomit. And I'm making this a top five. <laughs> Lots of what else to do. And you're unable to tell them your suspicions about the octopus. Fifteen minutes after being bitten, the muscles responsible for breathing are paralyzed. As you slip into un unconsciousness, your heart continues beating until aspirin sets in. Until and you die. So, so f we, one, two, Three, four, five. <clears throat>
so that's kind of, that's it for the list. I hope you went for our top five. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so you can meet because it really helps out the channel.